If they have a knock, they're a threat. Am I right? I was saying that before the incident. I can't believe they bomb our city and complain about their rights. Exactly. Rucker talks about organites like they're a different race or something. Are their children born augmented? Just get the <laughs> Don't get too close. I think I have tuberculosis. You can't have TB. We cured that. No. Please! We are brother and sister. Mr. Jensen, this is Otar Botkovere. I hear you are in the Utulek complex. Keeping tabs on me, Botkovere? It is time for that favor you owe me. There is a shopkeeper named Gawa in the city markets. I want you to eliminate him. I'm not in the assassination game. How you take care of this problem is your business. But I expect you to keep your word. I made the mistake of going with it. And the armed boom threatened you. Haven't you learned to stay Do you know how many times I've been dropped? No, watch. Mom said I don't. But it doesn't even drive. You fuck you know this place. On. Good. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today, given the unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galois? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend me? Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service? Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? Drunk son of a bitch. Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah. Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Diwali family, Radic Nikoladze. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized the other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. I'm sure he'd love that. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still, getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? No, I draw the line of assassination for would-be mob bosses. Thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Vaclav Kolar. What's his connection to Radic? Wait, I can't tell you that. Radic would kill me. You said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. Damn it. Okay. Radic, Kolar, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radic has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. So, I get Radic his neuropazine, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radic looks out for us. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I'd better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. Oh well, I had fun playing him. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more credible. One more thing. Tibor said you can get me into Ark territory without worrying about any guards. 
He's right. I'll unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, there's a ladder that'll take you where you want to go. All right, thanks. Is there any other way I can be of service? Perhaps you'd like to make a purchase and contribute to the Louis Galois escape fund. I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. But I hope to see you again. Machiavelli, it's Jensen. Your problem in the Udalek complex has been taken care of. Good. I look forward to hearing the details. But I will have to wait because I have other urgent matters keeping me busy at the moment. I will call you back shortly. Jensen, getting lonely up here. Got an update for me? Yeah. I discovered that favors are like currency in Gollum City. We're back on track. I'm heading for an area called the Throat now. Should take me straight into our territory. Good. I'll update Miller and do a flyby up ahead. Get you the lay of the land. Copy that. Victor, we got one. Patrolling the market, just like you said it would be. I got it, brothers. Now, let's see what we've got here. These little guys can be tricky. Every once in a while, one of them will go off. Even if you... Should have tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko... He is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? when outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Luputia pricks are everywhere, breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. It's not right what the police are doing. Someone has to stand up to them. Is that you? Because it takes a lot to step out of line and answer back. And once you do, there is no return. Not everyone has the courage to take up the fight. You make it sound like you're in a war. It is a war. On us. On every augmented human. You see that, don't you? There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that... could get them killed. I thought Ark was about preserving human rights, not advocating armed revolt. Here and now, brother, it is the same thing. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. Is it? I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong. Intelligent. Principle. 
You could learn a lot from him. I don't think so. Every time I've met someone who tells me they know how things are, it all comes up empty. If you believe in nothing, you will fall for anything. Ark has a purpose, bigger than you or I, or even Raker, if you cannot see it. Keep telling yourself that. Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then. Sergei! Be careful in there, Shiny. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah. Yes. We'll be seeing you. Chicane, patch me through to Miller. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. But I need you to run a name through ILAC. Victor Marchenko. Got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line. Hmm. <laughs> 